good afternoon everyone i welcome you all on behalf of sant tukaram junior college parbhani on this online learning program we will study from today the subject of physics online to such type of small videos which will be helpful and will give you more guidance in your home so let us start with our subject in our classroom at college we have completed near about 4 to 5 chapters some from first section of physics and few from second section of physics so today we will start 12th standard syllabus so first of all first of all i would like to take some division related with the subject of physics and then we will continue with first section starting from rotational dynamics tor vidyarthi mitranno jo kare tumhi college la yet hota tumcha piki kahi apan first paper che jo pas ek 4 te 5 chapter ani second paper che ek 2 chapter apan complete kele hote khup chan response je garju vidyarthi hote tyane dila पण आता करोनाच्या कालावधीमध्ये सर्व क्लासरूम टीचिंग जे डायरेक्ट असतं ते बंद पडलेलं आहे त्यामुळे आमचे मुख्याध्यापक आमचे सहकारी मिळून आम्ही ठरवलं की आपण आपल्या विद्यार्थ्यांना घर बसल्या घरपोच ऑनलाईन कोचिंगची सुविधा का पुरू नये आणि त्याचाच भाग म्हणून बायोलॉजीचे क्लासेस थोबाळ सरांनी केमिस्ट्रीचे क्लासेस तुम्ही थोड्याफार प्रमाणात अनुभवले कदम सरांनी आणि आजपासून आपण फिजिक्सच्या क्लासेसला सुरुवात करूया तर विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो जेव्हा केव्हा सुरुवात होते फिजिक्स विषयाची मी काही बेसिक कन्सेप्ट तुमच्या क्लिअर करण्याचा प्रयत्न करतो तोच भाग आपण आजही वापरू काही बेसिक कन्सेप्ट तुमच्या क्लिअर करू आणि मग लोक समजतात फिजिक्सला अवघड पण तसं काही नाही आहे फिजिक्स खरं तर खूप सोपा विषय आहे जर आपण प्रॉपरली वेळ देऊन आणि दररोजच्या दररोज जर त्याचा अभ्यास केला तर वेळोवेळी मी तुम्हाला ह्याही सूचना देत जाईल फक्त नुसतं विषयी ज्ञान एवढंच घ्यायचं म्हणजे शिक्षण नाही तर त्याच्या अनुषंगाने काही उदाहरणं काही दाखले आणि आपल्या व्यक्तिमत्वाला विकसित करणाऱ्या काही गोष्टीसुद्धा मी वेळोवेळी आपल्याला सांगत जाईल फिजिक्सचं जरी असलं तरी संदर्भानं काही विषय येतातच तर विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो सर्वप्रथम आपण सुरुवात करूयात चॅप्टरच्या किंवा आपल्या विषयाच्या नावापासून फिजिक्सपासून तशी मी तुम्हाला व्याख्या याच्यापूर्वी बऱ्याच वेळा सांगितलेली आहे तुम्ही विसरला सर नेहमी सारखंच ॲज बिफोर मेनी टाईम्स आय हॅव गिव्हन दिस डेफिनेशन ऑफ फिजिक्स ॲट इच अँड एव्हरी टाईम वेन वी स्टार्ट दि सब्जेक्ट ऑफ फिजिक्स आय स्टार्ट विथ दिस डेफिनेशन सो फिजिक्स इट इज द ब्रँच ऑफ सायन्स विच डील्स विथ द स्टडी ऑफ मॅटर ॲन्ड energy it is the branch of science which deals with the study of matter and energy there is also another definition of physics it is the branch of science which deals with the study of different various natural phenomena of phenomena so one important definition is it is the branch of science which deals with the study of matter and energy for we have to study in physics in these two years in last year we have learn some chapters some sections 
and in this year also in 12th standard also we have to study some chapters and some sections so first of all let us give a small uh, we can take a small uh, revision to that uh, sections first of all there is a section called mechanics which is very important section as far as physics is concerned mechanics it is branch of physics which deals with the study of force and motion we can define mechanics as it is the branch of physics which deals with the study of force and motion this is very very important part as far as the syllabus of 12th standard is concerned the first chapter is rotational dynamics which is also related with physics second is fluid dynamics it is also related with physics uh, with force that is mechanics and in last standard we have seen the section of mechanics like one dimensional motion two dimensional motion and various aspects related with the respect to motion so now first of all what is meant by force you must know what is meant by force and then mechanics so mechanics it is the branch of physics which deals with the study of force and motion there are very different branches of mechanics it is kinematics dynamics and statics the dynamics word is there again which we are studying in the name of two chapters again in this year so it is first rotational dynamics second fluid dynamics so first of all what is meant by force so it is the physical quantity which change the state of rest or state of uniform motion along the straight line it is called as force so what is the definition of force it is very important one everyone must know this concept i am not wasting your time just i am trying to revise and to make the concept which must be clear at any time as far as the study of physics is concerned so force it is the physical quantity which change or tends to change the state of rest or state of uniform motion along the straight line so you can take any example suppose this is a object which is initially at rest if i want to break its state of rest i must apply force it may be in any direction so depending upon whether the force produce motion or it is unable to produce motion there are two types of forces one it is balanced force and second it is unbalanced force the balanced force is that force due to which there is no any motion in the object that fan is suspended from the roof it is balanced fan is unable to move in downward direction up to the breaking of that support and if the support breaks it will fall down that will cause the unbalanced force so if as for we have taken the example if this is a duster we have to move this then we have to apply some force so this force which is unbalanced there is no any other force acting on this object this is only one force which is acting on this object and it will it will cause the motion so the balanced force is that force which causes the motion of object but due to unbalanced force there is no any motion in the object so this must be clear that for the body being in motion there must be continuous force acting on it so under the action of unbalanced force the body get its motion and if there is no any ex external unbalanced force acting on the body body remains in the state of rest it is again a concept of inertia that we will take it later on as per requirement so second type of force is unbalanced and balanced force balanced force it does not cause this motion but unbalanced force causes motion now there are different types of motion 
as far as physics is concerned. First is linear motion. In this motion, the force and displacement are in the same direction. The motion in which force acting on the object and the displacement of object are in the same direction, then such type of motion is linear motion. Second type of motion, we can take circular motion. circular motion. In linear motion, we can, uh, we have studied in last year the one dimensional motion. This one dimensional motion is maximum and in fact every time it is linear. It may along the straight line or it may vertical motion. It may horizontal, it is vertical. So in that case, we have to consider that force and displacement are in the same direction. If force and displacement are in the same direction, the motion of object is called as a linear motion. In circular motion, we have also studied in last year the definition of circular motion. In case of circular motion, what happens? The displacement of object and force acting on it are perpendicular to each other. So, just like this, we can consider here displacement and here is force. If displacement and force are perpendicular, in other words, we can say that if force acting on the object is perpendicular to its displacement. Linear motion of the cavity displacement and force ekas dishela. Zar if the object the displacement and force eka dishela ski, the asha pratarchi motion as the pila one is a linear motion. And circular motion of the cavity displacement la force just to perpendicular. Also. But displacement the job force perpendicular to the motion is the circular one. Example, I have said that 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 कुत्रे वगैरे बसलेला असेल तर आपल्या ग्रामीण भागात आपण पाहतो लोक काय करतात मुलं काय करतात ते कुत्र्याच्या शेपटीला फटाक्याची लढ लावतात आणि मग पेटवतात ती पेटवल्यानंतर कुत्र पळतो समजा आपण असं प्रेम देतो की त्या कुत्र्याला आपण एक गळ्यात दोरी बांधतो ती दोरी आपल्या हातात आहे ना हे दोरी आणि आपल्या हातात आहे आणि आता कुत्र्याच्या शेपटीला बांधलेली लढ पेटवली का होईल तुमच्या लक्षात येऊ शकतं एक्झाम्पल काय होणार कुत्रा पळणे पळे पण त्याची मोशन अशी असू शकते का आता थोडा वेळ तशी होईल पण फोर्स दोरी ना आपल्या हातात आहे त्याच्यामुळे जेव्हा तो कुत्रा पळण्याचा प्रयत्न करेल त्याच्या डिस्प्लेसमेंटला आपल्या हातातल्या दोरीमुळे असलेला फोर्स परपेंडिक्युलर राहील आणि फोर्स जर परपेंडिक्युलर असेल तर त्याची मोशन लिनियर असू शकणार आणि तो काय होईल आपल्या वरती फिरायला लागेल म्हणजे त्याची मोशन कशी झाली सर्कुलर तुम्ही घरी पाहू शकता एखादा दगड आहे दोरीला बांधला आपण एक टूक आपल्या हातात आहे आपण असं फिरवलं ऍक्च्युली तो ऑब्जेक्ट जो पळण्याचा प्रयत्न करणार तो दोरीला बांधला म्हणून तो आपल्या हाताकडे येणार प्रयत्न करणार त्याच्यामुळे त्याची मोशन कशी होते सर्कुलर सो सर्कुलर मोशन मध्ये काय होतं फोर्स आणि डिस्प्लेसमेंट एकमेकाला परपेंडिक्युलर असतात व्हेक्टरच्या भाषेमध्ये मांडलं तर फोर्स इज परपेंडिक्युलर टू डिस्प्लेसमेंट आणि जेव्हा आणखी एक फार महत्वाची कन्सेप्ट त्याच्यात तयार होते डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू असते यफ इन टू यस इक्वल टू असतो यफ यस इन टू असतो कॉस ऑफ थीटा त्याच्यात अँगल किती असेल नाईन्टी डिग्री जर मग तो टाकला तिथे इथे यफ यस कॉस ऑफ नाईन्टी डिग्री नंतर काय येईल झिरो कॉस ऑफ नाईन्टी इथं झिरो म्हणून एफ एन पी एस म्हणजे झिरो जो वर्क इक्वल टू आला झिरो कन्क्लुजन काय करू शकता सर्क्युलर मोशन मध्ये ऑब्जेक्ट जर सर्कल फरसवर पडत असेल त्या दरम्यान केले गेलेले कार्य हे शून्य असत ऑब्जेक्ट मध्ये खूप वेळ याच्यावर वेगवेगळे प्रश्न असतात हाफ सर्कल फुल सर्कल कम्प्लीट केलं अंडर द ऍक्शन ऑफ सेंट्रिपिटल फोर्स आता ती कन्सेप्ट नाही येऊ नो द कन्सेप्ट ऑफ सेंट्रिपिटल फोर्स अंडर द ऍक्शन ऑफ सेंट्रिपिटल फोर्स विच इज ऍक्टिंग टुवर्ड द सेंटर 
total work done by that centripetal force during any path covered is equal to the zero. So this is circular motion. Now second array, which is the beginning of our chapter. Third, it is rotational motion. Rotational motion. In linear motion, force and displacement are in same direction. In circular motion, force and displacement are perpendicular to each other. In case of rotational motion, there is difference between circular and rotational motion. Circular motion, motion of object about any fixed point, such type of motion, it is circular. But in case of rotational motion, motion of object around its own axis, this is rotational motion. But this is it is circular motion about some object. So in rotational motion, the forces acting on the object are two, but they are acting at different point in different direction. So suppose this is object, the forces acting on this object are like this. There are two forces acting on the object at different points which are separated by small distance. If these two forces are in action, certainly there is no any displacement of that object and that object will start rotating about its axis. So such a motion of object is called as rotational motion. So it is rotational motion, it is starting off or beginning of rotational dynamics. So rotational dynamics, there is a need of two forces. If we, we want that body must be in rotational motion, we cannot produce rotational motion by a single force. And if we produce it by a single force, then that force must be acting at particular distance. That concept also we have to study. So such type of concept of forces is called as couple. It is a very, very important part as far as this rotational dynamics is concerned. So some concept regarding this rotational dynamics. So it is clear now for rotational motion, two forces are necessary. The two forces must act at two different points separated by small distance instead of acting at a single point. If these two forces are acting at the same point in the same direction, it will be balanced the force or in exactly opposite direction also it will be balanced the force and there will be no any displacement of object and there will be no any motion in the object. So this rotational motion two forces are necessary and some basic concept related with this rotational motion and rotational dynamics. First of all a rigid body. In some books, this chapter is also known as rigid body dynamics. In our book, the name of chapter is rotational dynamics. So it is rigid body dynamics or rotational dynamics. So first of all, rigid body. In last standard, there was a chapter namely elasticity. Actually, it is properties of matter. The first section of physics uh, uh, it includes the properties of matter also. So, in last standard, we have seen the chapter namely elasticity. In elasticity, we have studied the definition of elastic body. The body which get deformed by the applied force and when deforming force is removed, the body get regained to its original dimensions, original shape and size. Such a body is called elastic body. There was also another body, plastic body, which get deformed but cannot regain its original dimensions when deforming force is removed. And there is another body, very very important body. Out of you, seated here, there are a number of bodies which are rigid body. rigid body Dimension 
अन्न बदलणार नाही भविष्य सुद्धा बदलत नाही आपण असे जे पदार्थ आहेत असे जे बॉडीज असतात ज्यांच्यामध्ये काहीच बदल होत नाही त्यांना रिजिड बॉडी म्हणायचं काही लोक गालत ते गालत हसत आहेत रिजिड बॉडी असं आपण सर्वांना नाही काही वेळेला उदाहरण आपण बाहेरच्या देशासाठी ठेवू आपल्या देशातले लोक रिजिड बॉडी नसतात असं ठीक आहे सो रिजिड बॉडी द बॉडी विच डज नॉट चेंज इन डायमेन्शन ड्यू टू द अप्लाईड फोर्स इज कॉल्ड एज रिजिड बॉडी फॉर एक्झाम्पल दिस वुडन ब्लॉक If I apply some force on this wooden block, there is no any change either in its length or in its shape. So this wooden block is an example of rigid body. A stone is also an example of rigid body. Now you may understand why I am saying that out of you there are a number of rigid bodies. You got it? So, so rigid body, the body whose dimension does not change due to the applied force. it's called as rigid body there are some basic concepts related with 